What's up everyone, my name is David, and if you ever wondered if I had five tips for you in terms of using the Mix Console to achieve a more efficient workflow in Cubase, well, wonder no more, because I do, and today I'm going to do a whole video on just that. So, stay tuned. Okay, so you may be asking, if this is a video on the Mix Console, why are you in the project window? And I'll tell you why. This is how I structure a lot of my projects. Uh, you'll notice I have my group channels down here, drums, guitars, bass, VST, vocals, mix. And then I have similar folders here. And that is my first tip. I would say work with folders uh, because when you get into the Mix Console, you can have anything you want visible. Right now it's just uh, groups, but if I don't want the groups or the FX visible, and I say like right now I'm working on vocals, you just click out, boom, and you have just the vocals. Uh, so that's my first tip. You know, you can cycle out of the vocals, cycle to your VSTs, get your bass, your guitar. Uh, if you organize your projects in folders, you're going to be able to see what you want a lot better. Uh, when it comes to mixing a huge project with a ton of tracks. So the track I'm working with today is a blues track that I did with my brother because he was in town. In addition to being a phenomenal drummer, he's a great blues singer. So I'm going to play you a little bit of it, but I'll make a video about it and I'll release it on Saturday. So make sure you're subscribed so that you get to see it. It's a positive blues. It's a take on the blues, but it's like if you were super jazzed about life when you were singing the blues. This is a little sample of it. I woke up this morning, found five dollars in my pants I was so happy, I did a little dance I got the blues I got the I'm so happy blues So uh, stay tuned on Saturday because I'll release a song, this whole song in its entirety and a video about doing positive blues but back to our mix tips and tricks. So let's say you have a whole thing out here, uh, all of your tracks loaded up and visible, but you want to see your stereo in, let's say you're tracking and you're over here or something. Well, you can do that with uh, the thing called zones and that's the second tab right up here. If you do zones and you have your stereo in on the left zone, it'll be there no matter where you are in the project. And that's good for stereo out as well. And I know some people like to have their group tracks in the right zone or whatever groups they're working on. Like if they're doing the uh, stem mix down, they'd like to have all their group tracks uh, working on the right zone. But I typically just do stereo in and out on the zones. And then it doesn't matter where you cruise around in your project. Uh, those two are always visible. So you can always see your master fader and your master input to uh, do gain staging if you're uh, in the process of tracking. So that's a good one to know. So the first tip is I uh, work with folders for visibility. So, you know, you can have uh, take away all the vocals, take away all the VSTs, take away all the bass, and then you're left with just guitars and groups. Uh, so that's the first one, work with folders. The second one is zones can allow you to put faders on either side and they don't go anywhere even as you move around the project. Tip number three is uh, these racks here. I think this is how it comes by default. I was trying to reach back into my memory banks, but uh, these are the racks that you get uh, by default in the mix rack. And there's some good ones. I mean, Q sends. I use that to record, you know, my second out if I'm sending a different type of signal or a different headphone mix to people. I rarely use these three. But the one that's not on by default is this Pre. And I don't know why, because it is amazing. Uh, pre, you can apply, you know, a high pass filter or a high cut or low cut. Uh, and you can gain stage here in the pre, you can switch, switch phase, all without adding an extra plugin. So knowing about the pre rack is pretty dope. The next thing I'd like to show you all is Q-Link. So if you don't want to put in a VCA fader, but you want to move everything in concert, you hit this thing right here, Q-Link. Uh, that button, make sure that it's lighted on. You can select all of your guitars and move them around to your heart's content. So uh, that's a good trip tip. That's tip number four, Q-Link. Uh, tip number five is if you're working with all of your stuff pulled up, and let's say you don't use the folder workflow, but you need more room on the left and right, you could always kill the left and right zones and then just have a big old honking 
uh, workstation, you get more pixels and you get more room to look at what you're doing and see what you want. So that's my tip number five, kill the left and right zones to uh, give yourself more room in the mix console. So going back to the beginning, my tips are work with folders for visibility. So let's say I just wanted the vocals, I would kill everything but the vocal folder. And then I just have the vocals to work with. Uh, number two is use zones for input and output. I have uh, my stereo out and my stereo in on the left and right zone respectively, so I can always see how they're doing. Number three is use your pre-rack because it's easier to gain stage uh, if you have you know this gain without adding any extra plugins. And you can also add high pass and low pass uh, filters, basically cuts to your track without using an EQ plugin, so that's awesome. Uh, number uh, four is Q-Link. So Q-Link is being able to select everything and turn this thing on and move, and that works for routing as well. So let's say that all of these were routed to stereo out. Uh, you know, I could route them all to the vocal group if I have Q-Link selected and I have all the tracks selected. So it works for any function you want, you know, your send amounts, your volume, uh, effect parameters if all the uh, tracks have the same effects on them. So using Q-Link is awesome. And then number five is if you are trying to mix a bunch of stuff at once, like let's say I want to mix guitars and vocals and their respective buses, guitars and vocal group and I don't have enough room. Well, what I could do is kill the left and right zones, and then I do have enough room. So kill the left and right zones to give yourself more precious pixels, and that's up here in the upper right. Uh, because you don't need those if you're actually doing work within the racks. And then I have one final bonus tip, and that is you know, when you're uh, mixing stuff, you'll put in inserts, and they're arranged by category, if you're lucky, and you can do whatever you want. You can customize the arrangement, but sometimes, uh, and I think that's devices, menu, plugin manager. So you can do a custom category, new collection, where you customize the folder structure exactly how you wanted. But one of the things that it allows you to do is just right click here and sort by vendor. So I have, Kakos, East West, Isotope, Ignite, Lepu, Native Instruments, Waves, Voxengo, Steinberg. And so you can have your inserts differentiated by vendor just with a simple right click. And the way I actually choose inserts is to just search for it. So if I want a compressor, you know, I get everything that's uh, named compressor. And I, I search by the name and I know the name. But I mean, it's kind of nice to be able to say, well, let's uh, take a look at, you know, dynamics that are waves. So we roll everything up. And you can see just your waves dynamics right here. So that's kind of nice. You can sort by vendor and that is in devices plugin manager, or you can go back to the category view. So those are my five tips plus a bonus tip. Work with folders for visibility. Uh, use your zones for your input and output, stereo in, stereo out. Uh, use the racks and the pre-rack to be able to filter and gain stage without adding an additional plugin. You can kill the left and right zones to save room. Use Q-Link to work on multiple tracks at once. Rearrange the plugins by vendor in the devices menu uh, if you think that that will help you find what you're looking for faster. Because it's all about working fast, working efficiently, and working well. Getting the technology out of the way so you can create music. So that's all I have to say for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like or subscribe, and take it easy, everybody. Peace.